Before we start this video off, I've linked a bunch of resources in the description, petitions, organizations to donate to, ways to write to your local representatives, and also kind of some educational explanatory material if you want to educate yourself further, especially if you look like me, about where you fall in all of this and why it matters. I've also just launched a print shop, which will also be linked in the description all of the proceeds of which will be going to the NAACP. That's something I've been working on for a while now, but this seemed like a perfect time to expedite that project so that we can have it up and running and have those profits going to a good cause. Pretty much every photo you've seen on my Instagram is on this site. And if there's one that you want as a print that's not on the print site, just reach out to me via email or a DM and I'll see what I can do to get it uploaded. Those are gonna be available for the next week and will be linked in the description. And the site that I'm putting those prints up on does take a printing fee for each purchase, but I'm gonna be compensating for that and making sure that everything you pay goes to the organization. So if you buy a $15 print, $15 will be going to the NAACP, not $13.50 or $13.00. Everything you spend is gonna go straight to them. Like many other creators, I'm also taking a few weeks off posting videos just to make room for voices that need to be heard more than mine right now. I and my videos take up a lot of digital real estate and they provide escapism, which is usually what I like about them, but now isn't really a time to escape reality. It's a time to be very aware of what's going on and be a part of it. I'm still gonna be working on some videos in the background, just holding off on posting them. Uh, I didn't upload last week. This isn't really an upload this week. And next week I'm not gonna be posting. Week after that should be back. So today instead, I wanted to share 10 incredible black creators that you can go follow, check out their work and find some new inspiration there. The other day I saw an Instagram story from Emmett Sparling suggesting that Instagram effectively sorts your feed and the content you're exposed to by race. Now, Instagram's not literally sorting by race, but he is right. If you follow a white creator, then the drop down that you get of suggested accounts to follow from that is almost going to be pretty much entirely other white creators. Same goes if you follow a black creator, you're probably going to get a list of other black creators. That's not a good thing, especially in this kind of Instagram travel, photography, and videography community that's largely predominantly white creators because it pushes you down into this rabbit hole where you're following almost entirely white creators and you have to go out of your way to be exposed to black creators and black art. So I hate to admit that several of the accounts I'm sharing in this video are creators that I didn't even know about until the last couple weeks. They have hundreds of thousands of followers, but I had never even seen their work. So I strongly encourage you to go out of your way to find black creators and expose yourself to their work, but not in an empty way, like just throwing follows and likes at people because that's oftentimes not even helpful. The algorithm sees that there are followers who aren't actually interacting with people's content and it pushes them further down in the algorithm because of that. So instead we have to fight against that algorithm and just go out of our way to expose ourselves to more of that work and actually follow the people who genuinely inspire you and engage with their work. That being said, let's talk about some incredible black creators on Instagram. They're all gonna be linked in the description and I highly encourage you to go check out all of their work. First up, my man Robin. He's one of the first people I met uh, when I moved to New York last summer and he's not only one of the nicest, most outgoing creators I've ever worked with, but also the gatekeeper of some of the best tones on the internet. He's an incredible photographer, cinematographer, colorist, and lately FPV drone pilot as well, so I highly recommend you check out his Instagram. He's posting a ton of amazing photos and also like cinematic little tidbits here and there. Uh, yeah, it's a great feed. Next up is Skinny. He's another New York-based photographer and he's got a really cool kind of vintage environmental portraiture style. The way he uses very coordinated colors and very interesting use of depth of field really immerses the talent in the location rather than it just being a backdrop. It's a really unique, immersive portraiture style. Next up, Mika Berra. And this is an account that I could talk about all day long. He focuses largely on kind of like cinematography oriented content, posting little frame grabs from his shots. And they're incredible. The way he uses light and color in his cinematography is 
ridiculous and incredibly inspiring for my own work. The way he uses light and shadow is very dramatic and captivating and the combination of deep blue with very like rich, silky warm tones. I don't know how to describe it, but it's perfect. If you're a fan of interesting light and color like me, then I guarantee you will also absolutely drool scrolling through this Instagram feed. Next up, Elise Swopes. And now here we're moving a little more from photography and videography conventionally into more graphic design and compositing. She has a really smooth and creative way of combining scenes that you just wouldn't expect or even think to put in the same composite like Chicago and Niagara Falls. If you're a fan of design and heavy compositing, this is an account that you should absolutely, without a doubt, be following. Next up, Temi Coker. Chances are you've seen this composite that he did going around on the internet the past couple weeks, and he's got an entire feed full of very similar kind of portrait composites in this really incredibly unique style. They're all sick and a lot of them are available on his website, which I'll link to below. Next up, someone I'm sure almost all of you already follow on Instagram and that's Carl Shakur. He is of course, always a massive inspiration for travel photography and one of the top accounts for the entire genre, you could say. Not only are the individual photos absolutely gorgeous, but the way he curates different photos from all over the world together into one feed based on color is really interesting. As I said, I'm sure almost all of you already follow him, but for the five of you who live under a rock and haven't seen his feed before, there you go. Next up, Hamza Dees, yet another New York based photographer, but his work is a little different because he's really good at capturing New York City from very different perspectives, which you've never seen before. That's an incredibly difficult thing to do in New York, a place that people have shot from just about every angle imaginable, but somehow he does it all the time, coming up with unique vantage points and compositions that I've never seen before. This is another Instagram feed that I can just scroll through all day looking at these photos. They just make me wanna go back to New York so badly. Next up, Alex Cass. He's an animator and designer for The Verge in New York City, and I've been following along with his feed for a couple years now, and he's always stepping up the game in terms of animation and design and showing me some kind of unique style that I haven't seen before. Whether it's combining 3D design with 2D or creating these really interesting compositions with a bit of still, a bit of motion that you can just stare at for several minutes and take it all in. Every design, every animation he posts is something unique, something different that you haven't seen before. Next up, YC Imaging. And this is a dude that I've learned a lot of what I know about cameras from. I'm using his techniques right now. He posts a lot of insightful behind the scenes content, whether it's music videos or the other projects that he's been branching out into more a lot lately. He's also based in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm based in South Carolina. So if you see this, I'm just saying. Finally, Toby Shinobi on Instagram. He's got a really cool kind of smooth, dreamy style throughout his photos and makes really interesting use of color, light, and lines. You'll notice a lot of his work is kind of architectural focused and has a lot of interesting use of lines throughout the images, which is something unique I don't see in that much photography. Yeah, so head down to the description, check out all these creators work, um, donate to these organizations if you can, sign petitions, write to your representatives. If you're protesting, please stay safe, educate yourself, vote not only in November, but in your local and state elections, because that's where a lot of this real change happens. And I'll see you in a couple weeks.